I'm here with the Ardell High School golf coaches for an Eagle update. I know both teams just got back from the state tournament. We have with us Coach Moses and Coach Vandenberg. They're going to talk to us a little bit about how their teams did, as well as how you can prepare your student to get involved in the Argyle High School golf programs. So we're gonna start off with Coach Moses. He is the Argyle High School girls golf coach. They just got back from state where they set history here in the district, placing seventh, which is the highest they've ever placed before. So Coach Moses, talk to us a little bit about how y'all did at the state tournament and any of the goals you set in place for next school year. Well, it's just incredible team effort. I'm so proud of our girls. Um, banner year for the Argyle Girls Golf Program. Uh, complete team effort. It took all uh, five of our girls to qualify to get to the re uh, to go from the regional tournament to the state tournament. And then once we were down there, um, we came so close. You know, our girls were a little um, broken hearted coming home because we so wanted to be a part of the um, to add points to our Lone Star to the Lone Star Cup Challenge. Um, so that was one of the major goals that we had. And then, of course, we, we were very we were right on the cusp of coming home with uh, some hardware. We really wanted to medal. But, you know, in the, in the big scheme of things, now that we're home, it's just such a great opportunity, great learning experience for our kids. As far as moving forward, um, very excited because we got to take two teams to the regional tournaments. We had a bunch of underclassmen that got that experience and, and uh, know what the regional tournament looks like. So we'll slide a couple of those girls in, as well as all these new kids that came out. Out for tryouts this last week um, and give them an opportunity to help us reach our goal of, of next year of um, you know being on that metal stand when it's all said and done. Absolutely. We're excited about next school year. So I know here recently you posted some information to the Argyle Eagle Golf webpage and that information is there for parents so they can find out how they can get their student involved in maybe some summer camps or get them involved in some private lessons. That way when they get up to the high school level, they're able to try out for the golf team and be competitive. So can you talk to the parents a little bit about what they can do to get their child prepared for your program? Most definitely. Um, well, first of all, um, all my Hilltop buddies out there, hello. Um, I know y'all watch out for us and let us know for sure when, when we've done these in the past. So. Um, we had the first team of Dallas actually come over to Hilltop and spend two weeks with us where we chipped, we potted, we, uh, we took some full swings playing a real neat game. Basically, uh, if you can picture home run derby with golf equipment and dodgeballs to where the kids could hit the ball in the gym and, and run the bases. So, you know, what we, our goal was to put a golf club in their hand at an early age to see if uh, right here before summertime, if uh, once camp started, some of these junior programs that our area golf courses would, would offer, um, it would give those kids an, offer, an opportunity to go home, tell mom or dad about it. And, um, and the question that Coach and I get all the time, how do we get started? How do we get started? Um, we don't have a true junior high program per se in Argyle, but what we do want is we want our junior high age kids um, becoming experienced golfers. So uh, our Hilltop age friends, our intermediate kiddos, what we want is we want them to, to seek out Lantana, seek out Oakmont, Denton Country Club, uh, Robeson Ranch. They have some great opportunities. I've uh, been on the phone all this last week with the lead instructor at Denton Country Club. He's starting a great junior program um, there. They're going to offer a couple of different summer camps as well that I believe is going to be open to all the public, um, not only the, uh, the uh, country club members. We know that we've had kids go through the, the Oakmont program as well, and uh, um, Coach is uh, a close relative and good friend that uh, teaches over at Lantana. So you know, the more that we can get these kids started at a younger age, the better. And what we did is on our website under our Junior High Golf uh, tab, is I created basically um, a legend there that, that works from a very beginning golfer, and that can be from a small age up through, um, let's say, an eighth grader that's interested in playing now, where they can all start to work to where some of these elite players that we've been blessed to coach and uh, have in our program at Argyle, um, kind of the top end of where those kids will eventually get. So it's even something that we give our own players of, of you fit in this category now, here is the progression that you need to make while you're in, in our program. So um, we hope that this helps. And as always, you can, you can email Coach Vanford or myself, Nathan Moses, uh, through our website or through the school system. Okay, perfect. That's all great information. Um, make sure you do take some time to check that out. And we're going to talk to Coach Vanford. He's the head boys golf coach for Ardell High School. He's going to talk to you about their state competition. They just got back um, from state with second place. They won the silver medal not only as a team but also had a player 
uh, placed second, brought home the silver, and that's Logan Diomedi. So, Coach Vanderford, talk to us a little bit about your team, how y'all did at the state level this year. I know in the past seven years, you've brought home either a second place or an actual first place state medal. So, talk to us about the tournament and talk to us about what your goals are for next school year. Well, um, first of all, we had a great tournament. Uh, you know, our first day was a little tough on us. Um, we didn't play as well as we'd like to have played. Uh, dug ourselves a little bit of a hole, but then day two we really came back. Our young players, who I think struggled a little bit on day one, really came back and played well day two and shot the low tournament round of the, of the tournament. Uh, shot 299 the second day, uh, which is kind of a little bittersweet, I guess. Uh, and, you know, because I think our boys were a little disappointed that they didn't come home with a goal. And you know, that's that's primarily because of the standards that have been set before. Um, you know, when you truly think about it, to be able to make that have that accomplishment is you know, we won district and won regionals. And we came in second state is is a tremendous accomplishment, and right. they need to be proud of that. And, and we are. Um, you make no mistake about it. We're real happy about it. Uh, we just hopefully we'll get the chance to maybe go back and, and come back with one a little bit higher next time. Okay, talk to us a little bit about Logan Diomedi. I know he's going to go off to college right. and play. Um, so talk to us about how he did at the state level, and then also share with us what college Logan's going to be participating in um, in the fall with their golf program. It, it's funny you mention that because Logan has been so consistent all year round. I almost forget to talk about him. Because you just forget he's out there. He's just steady Eddie. He does he does the same thing every week without question. I mean, he's going to come in around par, and he did the same thing at the state tournament. You know, he, he shot in the in the bad conditions on day one. He shot seventy four. He's three over par, and then he comes back in day two and shoots two under par, and so he's right around even par, just like he always is. And he finished second in the tournament. Uh, I know he really wanted to win it going out as a senior. But, uh, you know, he's been there four years. And you know, there's not many golfers can say they've been there four years. And, right. you know, he's got two gold medals and two silver medals. And uh, he's going on to take his talents to Adeline Christian. And I know he's going to make a tremendous player for them as well. Wonderful. Well, I know that you both set high standards for your athletes, um, both in the classroom and out on the golf course. So can you talk to the parents, tell them what they can do to – help their child be prepared, what your expectations are of the their uh, student when they're coming in to try to uh, be a part of your golf program. Well, it, it, the biggest thing is they've got to learn how to play golf, and, and I, I think we've mentioned this in the past and in, in our podcast and whatnot, but uh, there's some people that just don't understand the game, and they come to us thinking that it, it's the beginning, the starting point is when they show up at high school, and, and that's quite, you know, or not quite the case, and uh, we start playing tournaments in September, and so we need kids coming to us that already know how to play and not that we're not going to be the ones that teach them how to play. So the things that Coach Moses got put on our website, and he did a tremendous job. When you look through that, it's got all the information anybody needs. Um, and if it's at all confusing, they can contact one of us and we can answer questions. But I think the younger they are, starting with the group programs and the lessons and, and playing and, and playing that they have club golf now where they play like Lantana and play against Oakmont and Oakmont will play against the BCC once they get their program established. Um, so they get a little taste of that at a young age, um, but then as they get a little bit older, maybe into middle school age, and they start that, that process of starting at the NTPGA and start playing tournaments. And they can start as low as nine hole tournaments, and they graduate from that to play one day 18 hole tournaments. They graduate from that playing two day events, which, you know, at the high school level, level for the varsity team, we're playing two day events. And we even play one three day event, or actually not three days, but 54 hole event. So it, it prepares them, it starts them at the ground level and lets them just gradually move up that ladder and then hopefully be prepared when they get to us. Perfect. Well, you heard it here. If you have a student that's wanting to get involved in the elite golf program here in Argyle ISD, you want to make sure that they're prepared. So take some time to visit the Argyle Golf webpage. It's under the Argyle High School webpage. And you can find all the information there that you need to get your child involved in any kind of summer camps or maybe some private lessons. Make sure that they're ready to go when it's time for them to try out for the Argyle High School golf teams. Well, thank you so much both for being here. You can check out more information about the Argyle, the Argyle High School golf teams in the upcoming podcast on the Argyle Eagles Booster Club. So thank you so much again both for being here. We appreciate it. We're proud of both golf teams. They did an amazing job, as they always do every year. We're proud of all of your athletes. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.